Sustainability reporting is incredibly complex until you break it down. I'm Matt Timmons, partner at PwC UK. I'm going to explain four things you need to know about the Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive from a legal and company secretarial perspective. Firstly, legal scaping. Your journey begins with a deep dive into your company structure to map out exactly how the CSRD applies to you. Understanding your legal entity's footprint and corporate architecture is crucial. EU member states can often add additional requirements. It's important to consider these when determining how and when CSRD applies to you. Secondly, legal duties and responsibilities. You need to be aware of your director's duties and liabilities and the legal, reputational and financial risks of non-compliance. Thirdly, legal entity governance. It is crucial that you update your corporate governance frameworks, policies and processes. Under the European Sustainability Reporting Standards, there are mandatory corporate governance disclosures that apply to all entities that form part of the CSRD report. And finally, business operations. You need to review and amend your contracts with customers, suppliers and other stakeholders to include sustainability topics, disclosure of required data and alignment with applicable regulations derived or expected from the European Green Deal, such as the EU taxonomy and the Sustainable Finance Disclosure Regulation. Embracing these legal insights not only safeguards your company against risks, but also positions it as a leader in sustainability. But to do so requires all legal and corporate secretarial teams to engage and be part of a multidisciplinary team to help the business get ready.